Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl and about a specific character who has just appeared in the comics. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. So, this video is going to be Supergirl related because the character Nia Now, aka Dreamer, is from Supergirl, played by Nicole Maine. She is a great character. I'm going to be discussing her in this video because she just showed up in the main line of DC Comics just earlier this week. So I will explain why this is a huge deal because Nia, in fact, has never appeared in the main line of DC Comics as of right now. And so if you guys didn't know, the issue that she showed up in was Superman and Lois, Son of Kal-El, the latest issue that came out. It's a very good comic, highly recommend you go read it. It's not following the main Superman, obviously Clark Kent, like we see in Superman Lois. It's in fact following John Kent, his son, and Superman is out there somewhere in the multiverse. But currently right now, John is the main Superman. That is why it's called Superman, Son of Kal-El. That transfer was made just before Superman, Son of Kal-El came out in DC Comics. And so, why is this a big deal? Well, Nia has appeared in the comics a couple of times now. Her debut appearance and primary appearance in the comics was last year with DC Pride. There was a whole short story dedicated to Dreamer that Nicole Maines wrote and worked on. And that was the first time that we've seen her in the comics. Because Nia now is supposedly a descendant of Nira now, who is a legionnaire from the future in the 31st century, who has links to Brainiac and people like that in the Legion of Superheroes, and that was even briefly mentioned, I believe, in Supergirl. However, Nia now is a creation of Supergirl, of the TV show that they created, just linking it to a DC Comics character to give her some backstory, like making her a Nautorian, because that is a race that is recognized by people in the DC universe and in the comics and in the TV show as well. And so, yeah, she mainly appeared in DC Pride, she was linked to Supergirl, and then in an interview, Nicole Maines discussed her desire to continue with Nia's story in the comics, but actually branch it away from Supergirl and what her origin was like in the TV show, because she wants to explore it in a different way, and I guess, like Superman and Lois, give herself more creative freedom to do with the character and not be binded to past details and past actions. But the overall gist of Nia is pretty much exactly the same. If you watch the TV show and then go read the comics, it's pretty much clear that this is Nia. This is the Nia that we know from Supergirl, and that is partially due to Nicole being the one actually writing her character, which I think is a really good choice. And so her appearance in this basically confirms there's going to be more near now stories there's going to be more dreamer stuff in the future of dc comics i reckon at one point she's going to be getting her own solo series even if it's just a limited mini series i think it's actually going to happen if not for that i reckon she's going to show up in various different comics probably mainly superman son of kal-el maybe another supergirl comic they just recently finished supergirl woman of tomorrow but neil wasn't featured in that so maybe in a future comic that supergirl has so we'll just have to wait and see but let's talk about what she does in this issue and i'm aware that we are normally a dc tv channel however i do discuss topics that are related to dc tv and since Nia is a creation of Supergirl and Nicole Maines is actually writing it. That is why we are covering it because I'm genuinely interested and I think you guys are genuinely interested in what Nia is doing in the comics even if it isn't exactly the same as our version of Nia from Supergirl. Okay, so in the comic what happens is pretty much just going to be talking about Nia and her actions. Just to let you know, so I'm not spoiling the entire comic because I recommend you go read it. It's available on Comixology, Amazon, and in your local comic book shop, wherever that is around you. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be selling the latest issue of Superman, Son of Kal-El. So go search it out. But anyway, so what Nia does is she first shows up, she breaks into the Fortress of Solitude. John is absolutely shocked. I'm pretty sure no one has really broken into the fortress in the comics, at least not that often. And so it's pretty impenetrable and somehow Dreamer was able to get in. 
she explains that a little bit but still kind of a mystery but her first appearance is great she's like don't freak out as you know Kalex is pouring her like a cup of coffee or tea and she's just there chilling in the fortress and John is shocked and so she basically explains why she is here because she has to show Superman something. She had a dream and this dream led her here and she knows that she had to warn John whether her dream turns out to be true or not. And so this is obviously very important and this is what happens next. And so John is shown by Nia who has been leveled up somehow with her powers. And so apparently the dream that she shows them to do with the Justice League actually dying is in a week from now, from where they're actually standing. And as you guys know, her dreams are very reliable in most cases. There's normally at least a sign pointing towards something that's going to happen in the future. But this is definitely very specific and as it's mentioned in this issue, she isn't in control of her powers fully but it's clear that she has had some sort of upgrade from when she was on Supergirl because she's never actually retained such information and been able to project dreams like this before. I feel like this is definitely an upgrade for her character, so it's interesting to see how they're developing her. But she shows what's going to happen, this dream that she had to John and everyone and what happens is quite a shock because for a second when you're reading the comic you're like oh my god did they actually just kill the Justice League but then you are snapped out of it and John is snapped out of it and you realize oh this is just near showing the dream of what is going to happen obviously this dream is just you know interpreting what's going to happen from the future but it's pretty clear something like this is going to happen and John has to stop them and so that is where Nia comes in and I should also reference John does talk about Nia and how he actually knew of her kind of and that was because he actually knows Nia now, Nia's distant relative from the future from the 31st century and apparently the last time that they met Nia actually left some equipment, some futuristic tech in terms of her gloves that you see in this image on the screen right here and she leaves that for Nia the last time that she met John and so this is just something that is a big coincidence however it's a very nice moment because she built them for her in the 31st century with another hero named Brainiac 5. Obviously that links directly into what happened on Supergirl and Brainiac's relationship with Nia and I know that Nicole has been talking about Brainiac and I'm pretty sure the next time Nia shows up I think Brainy is going to show up alongside of her and so I believe with this version of Nia she doesn't actually know who Brainy is just by the way that John is actually talking about it and the fact that she doesn't respond to the naming of Brainiac 5 if it was her from Supergirl she'd be like oh yeah I know Brainiac you know he's my partner etc however this new version of the character doesn't know of Brainy and hasn't had those interactions that obviously went on in Supergirl and so she's a pretty new hero she isn't really able to control her powers not many people know her and it's pretty much you know she's got a clean slate just like Superman Lois like we've been talking about so it's interesting the way that they're taking her I really like Nia in this issue I really like that connection to the 31st century and dropping that Brainiac name drop and also her showing her true power being able to project this dream and show it to John and everyone. It's quite impressive and it's a big deal because the death of the Justice League is nothing to be laughed at and so they're going to be able to actually stop President Bendix it seems with the help of Dreamer and so the gauntlets that John actually gives Nia that were made in the 31st century by Nira are another benefit to Nia because it enables her to channel her dream energy in a more specific way and Nira liked the idea of helping Nia obviously from the future and it's a similar thing where in Supergirl the Legion of Superheroes were influenced by Supergirl and her past actions in the past and that's why they created the Legion of Superheroes and in this case Nira is a fan of her distant relative Nia of course 
and she is a hero to her. She is the basis of what she bases her superheroing activities on. So I think this link of giving Nia the gauntlets and, you know, all of the different stuff that she made for her, I think that's actually a really, really great link. And I really like where this issue went with Nia. Although it was brief and we didn't actually get to see too much Nia, at least she was introduced to DC Comics and, you know, the main line of comics. I'm not talking about, like, general comics because, like I mentioned at the start of the video, we have seen her before. And it's just great to see her in the comics. Obviously, recently we had the Earth Prime crossover comic. We got to see various characters, including Supergirl and Martian Manhunter, show up again in the comics. And so I just really like that with the show gone, they're being able to expand these characters in new and different ways that are very exciting for fans of the show and maybe it'll get some of you guys who aren't necessarily comic book readers more involved in the comics because they are transitioning some of these characters over to some of their stories because there is lots more to tell especially about a character like Nia who was a creation on Supergirl and she has heavy links to DC Comics so it just makes complete sense with Nicole Maines' attachment and the character's attachment to the Legion of Superheroes and the Super Family because of Supergirl, that she would be showing up and she will probably continue to show up lots of times in the future of DC Comics. So that pretty much does it for this video guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's very exciting that Nia's back. If you did enjoy the video and if you did enjoy the comic, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.